Hello everyone, what is up? It is your girl Happy back here with another video and today I'm going to be doing a City Fera overview and like a recap and basically just going over what City Fera is for anyone who doesn't know what it is or if you aren't really that sure of what City Fera is, the different shops, different mini games, and the different NPCs and just a bunch of stuff like that. Then I'm going to be doing this video for people like that, so go ahead and continue watching if you want to. But yeah, so let's go ahead and hop on into the video. Alrighty, so I have the map of City Fira pulled up right here. So basically, there are two main spawn points. So the first one here is actually called the main square, which is whenever you first log in or when you join the game or whatever you spawn to this one right here and this is actually the main one that people spawn to i actually don't really see anyone spawning to the other one but the other one is actually called shopping plaza and it's actually right in the middle of the shopping plaza where you can go to to die for fair fashions or uh centuria which is basically like a little bar or some sort and then the other two are a dye shop and then fair fashions is basically just where you can go ahead and go get some clothes and stuff like that so these two spawn points are really cool and i highly suggest checking those two out and if you're going shopping definitely go to the shopping plaza one because that one makes way more sense to go to because it is definitely quicker but if you're going to like trade or hang out or take some pictures or something like that then going to the main square spawn point is probably your best option okay so as you guys can see i am at the main square spawn point and it is actually quite packed right here and then if you go out front it is still quite packed and this is a great spot for trading or doing different things like that or like hanging out or stuff like that because there are always tons of people here and there's tons of people who are ready to talk and just here to enjoy the time. So I highly suggest coming over here if you're trying to like trade or getting anything for the season pass or stuff like that or even just hanging out. And then Feral has recently added this spot if you go down here, down this little ramp. Now you have like this little sauna or this little bath or pool area or whatever it's called but this is actually really really cool because you can actually go ahead and head right on over here and you can get some cool views and there's some like waterfalls and it's really 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 pretty and i highly suggest checking this out this is probably my favorite new addition in the brand new update or at least one of them because it's just so pretty and it's actually behind the rat wall which is kind of cool because you have to go out around the rat wall and down, but it is so cool and so pretty. And I really, really like this. And I've already gotten tons of some cool pictures where you can go ahead and go and actually check me out on Instagram at Happy Pony Feral. And you can see some of the pictures I've taken and I will be mainly posting video updates and stuff like that. And some pictures I take around Feral and also the prizes I get for doing things like the quests or whenever I receive some of the season pass items. Like I recently just finished the season pass and I actually took tons of pictures and I believe I posted all or at least most of the things that I got from the season pass and it was so cool and I'm so happy that I was able to finish and I was super close right as the update came out and now I have finished as you can see right here, I have finished and I'm all done and I am very happy with what I finished and I cannot wait to see what the next one is, but let's go ahead and continue along with this. Okay, so next up we have Kino who actually has two mini games, which are more of the gambling games, but I'll go ahead and show you what the games kind of look like and basically what they are. So you have Queen's Duel and Four Crowns, which are both really, really cool games, and I highly suggest checking these out. But these do definitely take a lot of practice beforehand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this quickly. We'll do one like. And now you can go ahead and she flips the die. 
And then you can go ahead and keep that and that and that and that or whatever it is. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember, but you can go ahead and keep those. And then there you go. And then you can also place these here. I'm not actually very good at this, but as you can see that I have lost. So no, I'm not going to play again, but I'll show you four crowns, which as you can see here is basically showing you and I haven't played it at all, which is kind of weird, but let's go ahead and see. So there you go. You can now see all my cards. So I'll put that one down there. That one down there. That one down there. That one down there. And then I lost. I'm not exactly sure how to play this. But as you can see, those are two very cool mini games. And I highly suggest checking those out if you're very good at gambling or stuff like that. And then you come back on over to the spawn point and then you have tons of NPCs all around here and they're all just kind of chilling around here like here's one and then there's some up here and then along here but next up on our right we have the main spot for the lore which is the two queens so we have the two queens we have not actually been able to go when they have had open beta it has been closed off since i joined but i believe it was open for wave one or something like that and as you can see there is actually another spawn point in there but we are, aren't able to go in there but there's tons of different lore on what that means and stuff like that so that is really really cool and there's tons of npcs all around that way but if you go up to the right here, you have the shopping plaza spawn point and then to die for work. Now to die for, you can purchase dyes. And when you're purchasing dyes, you can dye items, dye furniture, dye tons of stuff like that. And you also have do or die, which is probably my favorite mini game because you t get tons and tons and tons of likes. And it's basically really, really simple. My personal favorite level to play is level 101, but I actually have gone through and gotten at least one or two stars on all of the levels. So now I'm going to basically just show you level 101, which is personally my favorite. It has a total of six ingredients, and then all you have to do is find the right combination, which that is the right combination, and then you get 175 likes plus a different dye or a rare material. So if you're trying to get like butterflies or something and you also want tons of dye, this is a great game to play because you get tons and tons of dye. But as you can see, even on the next level, it gets really complex. But I do highly suggest at least going to level 101 because then you are able to do that. But here we have the dye shop and you are able to go ahead and get tons of dye instead of playing do or die if you like. But here's basically just some of the dyes that they have so far. And they have added a few new ones here at the bottom. So you can see they have the little new tag there. And then if you go to the Enigma, they only have the Glurple dye for the Enigma so far. But I'm really hoping that they're going to add some more because the Glurple die was definitely a really, really cool die because of just basically the name. And it's kind of like a Glurple chest, but it's a Glurple die. So I thought that was kind of cool. So now let's go ahead and go on over to Farrah Fashions where you can purchase tons of clothing items and they also have a mini game. So here is basically where all of the stuff you can purchase is you can see just some of the things here and then this actually has i believe the most eureka items and the most enigma items so here are all of the enigma items that i currently have so those are all of mine and then if you go ahead and go right on over to the other side you have the game dizzy wing dispatch 
which if you go ahead and open that up, it's actually, I believe, in the different season pass missions, but I believe now they have made it a bit easier, but all you have to do is match the birds, and then you can go ahead and find matches, and then just match them and at least a three, so if you have like only two, you can't, but if you have four, you can get one of these birdies, which you can do that, and there you go, and then if you get five, you get like a peacock birdie, and then you are able to go ahead and, if you combine two of those, completely wipe the board, or if you have one, you can go ahead and just basically clear out a few random ones, so it actually doesn't have like a certain no ones that you know are gonna go, it's gonna be random every single time, but I highly suggest getting these. And then also, as you can see right here, we have those two, which if you hit them, they blow up all of the nine squares around them. And then they do that twice. And then after that is done, then you have the rest of the board and you can continue. And then the bird on the right, you can go ahead and click and it just goes around and mixes up all the birds. So that is basically Disagreeing Dispatch which is one of my very favorite games. And I'm actually decently good at that, but I, it's not my favorite because I've had to play it so much for the season pass, but I still do enjoy playing it every so often. But now if you go ahead and go up the stairs and then to the left, you have the main kind of like bar and hangout spot, which doesn't actually have any shops or like any mini games or stuff like that. So this is kind of interesting and cool, but it has these little tents, like it has a green, a purple, a red, and a blue, and it has all the downstairs here. And then as you can see, everyone here is at the stage, but then sometimes people will be over here by the little bar spot. And then if you go up to the upper level, you can see even more and then look down and stuff like that. And the upper level is just really, really cool. And it's great for taking pictures because it's actually not really that populated all the time. So that is a great place to go and relax, but still have the party going on down below. So if you ever want to go down below, you are able to go ahead and do that. And that is basically what City Pharaoh looks like. There are tons of different features. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace out.